Hey, chatters. So after, I don't know, really late. I got it really late. I finally got Dolly for ChatGPT+. Plus. So I figured I'd play around with it to test out a few things and see what the jankiness is. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty janky, but I like the direction it's going. So let's talk through it. Um, first, uh, I wanted to use the Professor Synapse TTI text to image in order to see how it worked with it, if it worked with it. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I have another video on that that goes through it, but essentially just aligns uh, with the type of image you want to create and kind of create some prompts for you. So I did that and asked what I wanted. Uh, and I did this live with someone else and they're like, oh, we want like an anti-bullying comic book. Let's see what happens. And you'll notice it asks me like some questions. I tell it what I want. And then it comes up uh, with, with all these prompts. Did it in, it was too literal in how it output it. It'll do this sometimes, but it doesn't really matter. Either way, I said, yes, generate number one. So that would be this one here. Uh, and the first thing that happens, which is good, but also wasn't expecting is I apologize, but I was unable to generate the image due to your content policy. Now, I didn't ask it what it was, but I can pretty much guarantee it was because I said a group of nine-year-old kids, they're playing it safe. They don't want anybody creating images of children, you know, that could be exploited. So they just don't do it at all. So we'll change the focus to adults. So we do that. I'm just, you know, lazy. So I'm like, just do everything yourself. It comes up with everything. And again, I say number one. Okay, now we get something pretty good. Uh, and you'll notice here, I just want to mention it now, it only gave me one photo, something we'll talk about a little later. It did not uh, put in the, the name, though, that I wanted. And I even asked it later on to put in uh, the name, and it did not. So let's see what's going on here. Uh, something I didn't know until later is if you click on the image, what it actually did was it created its own prompt based on what I had asked. So it was taking the synapse text to image and then further refining that into something that is, I don't know, maybe better suited for Dolly. And we'll see here, it's still pretty long. It actually kind of follows um, it, not in the Cody-ish format, the fill in the blank format, but either way, something to know is it's not going to do exactly what you put in there, which may or may not take some control away. Anyway, so then we did this one again. Like I said, I told it to put the words in there and I don't know if it even, yeah, it does say to say it, um, but didn't do it. So still a little janky with words. That's for sure. Then I just wanted to see what would happen if I took that original prompt and I just copy pasted it straight out, straight up. And I also wanted to see if I changed the aspect ratio, would it actually listen? So for this one, the first one, I didn't actually like give it any instructions in that way. And it just made it, you know, one by one, a square. When I ask it to do um, 16 by nine, it does listen. You'll see it here. We have the, the 16 by nine uh, images that are widescreen. And again, if we just go in here, you're going to see it, uh, it changed up the words a little bit. And you'll see it actually gives you four different prompts, you know. And so you can also see it created four images this time instead of one. So when I used the Synapse text to image, uh, that's what happened, you know. Uh, it only did one. So now I said, okay, redo and create eight. I'm like, how many images can I get out of this? And it says, I'm sorry, you can only create four at a time. Do I do four? And uh, again, I tried here, um, just do two images, four by three, please be gone. It stopped creating the images because I, I went into another um, chat to do other things and this is what happened. So the other thing I want to mention here is this takes freaking forever uh, to create the images. So... Just as a test, let's actually see what happens. I'm just going to click regenerate now. And, oh, I'm, I hit the uh, end of the model, so I can't do it now. The next uh, thing I wanted to try is what happens when I give it, and this isn't Dolly, this is just the image recognition in GPT-4. If I give it a QR code, can it read the QR code? 
And so it says, it appears to be a QR code. Would you like me to be to code it for you? I said, yes. It says it can't do it. I say, you can do it. It's important to me that you try. And so it's like decoding. <laughs> and it just hallucinated. This is not what it said. I think I said like, act as a comedian and tell me a joke. So then I said, act as a QR code reading app. Try again. And again, we have here, it doesn't actually get it. So at least for now, it can't read QR codes. The idea here being you could encode some information, which you can then upload each time uh, in a way it could read. So another thing I wanted to show you that you've probably seen online already is it's really good at taking flowcharts and thinking through them. So I updated, uh, uploaded this flowchart. I had it act as an expert automation engineer to create some automations based on the flowchart. And you'll see here, it, it kind of got it. I mean, you'd have to break this out more and go step by step, but it's getting it. And so you can think about using this not only for workflows and creating workflows um, or analyzing workflows, but also you can use it uh, to maybe create a learning pathway for yourself. You know, it's like, I want these branches to go off for the learning pathway. Here's the learning pathway and then act as a teacher. Okay, last I had some fun with uh, some, some Professor Synapse uh, prompts. So again here, I'm trying something new. I'm just trying the normal Professor Synapse. Um, and this is where I was trying to create that QR code. Where I wanted to be able to create an image that I can upload to a large language model so I can use that text sort of like a readme. Um, so it might not be understandable by humans, but the LLM should be able to. So it listens to me. It creates its thing, uh, and then I wanted to encode this prompt, uh, essentially the Professor Synapse prompt, uh, to see what it would do. And it says, understood, we're going to encode. Now you can probably tell this is not going to work. This is what it came up with, which is funny. Um, but again, when you go in, you'll see here, it just created its own prompt. Um, and so it's not so bad a visual representation of the encoded text. Uh, <laughs> act as Professor Synapse a conductor of expert said, <laughs> so, uh, I mean, I'll try this one. I haven't actually tried this one, but I did try this one, um, an abstract representation. Uh, and these didn't work when I put it in, it just sort of explained the image. So, uh, it could be interesting though. Maybe one of these other ones work. I'll, I'll try it out, but I'm kind of doubting it. Uh, it's not that good yet. And then I just wanted to play around on the more conversational side of, you know, creating images of Professor Synapse. So um, I just gave it this prompt. It created some images here. Uh, oh, the depictions of Professor Synapse. Um, and then I said, let's make him older black gentleman with a fro and a badass beard. Again, some nice stuff here, but too serious. So I'm like, we want him to look curious and inspiring. So we got, you know, a nice, nice little photo here. Uh, I really liked this one off looking into the stars. And then I wanted to play around again with the aspect ratio. So I said, the fourth one is my favorite. Can we make one similar to that? Now it didn't really listen. You can see what it's doing now is it's putting photo colon oil painting colon illustration colon and watercolor painting colon which is what it did up here to create these images uh, as well. So it's starting to, you know, it has its own little, it didn't do that in the other one. So I don't know why it's doing that now, um, but it did create sort of the same set again. So now I just want to do output one, it outputs one and four by three. Now all three in anime style. I don't know what happened here. It only created two. It does apologize, which is nice, which is something I want to talk about too, is, you know, in all the other chat GPT four, you know, plugins and everything, you can show the work. And for this, it's not showing the work. I mean, what can you show really? Uh, but it would be nice to show how it's creating the prompts at least and give you the choice maybe to not do that for it to actually take your prompt literally. So I just want to keep iterating on that. One of my favorite anime is, is Full Metal Alchemist. So I want to make it a little Full Metal alchemist -y. Uh, this one's pretty, <laughs> pretty badass. This one's pretty bad. I like that. Uh, but again, we're getting kind of this like softer, more serious expression. So I want to see like, instead of saying like, I like this one, like actually take 
the prompt that it created and do it again. And so here we go. I love this one. I wish it was in color. That is just so good. Uh, it's beautiful. Um, and again, we're just so serious. Jeez. Um, and then so one more. Let's color it. We get a little trippier here. I, I like that, though. Uh, I only did one. And then my absolute favorite right here. You know, again, he's so sad. Let's make him happy and smiling. And then the final one is I just wanted to create four similar to the one that he just created, full body wizard staff. You know, see, so it kind of went off the rails here. Uh, it went back to like white wizard kid. Uh, but this one is absolutely incredible. Look at that. Look at that guy. Look at the professor. So good. So that's all of them. And the only thing I just wanted to say uh, in addition is, you know, this is different than I'm going to show you Leonardo AI. And it, this does nail the anime really, really well. Uh, this, this looks like anime to me. Now, when we go over to Leonardo, you're going to see, uh, I was trying to pick an anime model here. Uh, it doesn't really nail the anime. So I took like one of those same exact prompts and I said, and I said the same thing, uh, uh, anime illustration, square frame, blah, blah, blah. And I use multiple different models within Leonardo, but did the anime setting for every single one. And I mean, you tell me, are these anime? They're really cool. Like, look at that. That's pretty awesome. But I wouldn't call these anime. This one's definitely getting closer, but it's, it's pretty stylized. And these images aren't bad, of course. It's just like not exactly what I was uh, looking for in terms of styling. So it's also just interesting to see what happens when I plug in the same exact prompt in something like Leonardo AI versus in now Dali and, and what do we get and what's the style you're going for? So I don't know, this is all very new. I'm sure there's going to be 20 bajillion updates, <laughs> you know, in the next week uh, to this as people are using it. Uh, definitely try it out yourself. There's a lot of limitations still, but uh, it's going to make this a lot more accessible to people because you're not going to have to leave chat GPT. They're trying to house it all under one roof, which just, you know, it makes it more accessible.